All right, what's up, guys? I want to talk to y'all about my Pelican 1650, which is acting as my chair right now. And there's going to be some background noise. I apologize in advance. There ain't really a whole lot of shit I can do about it. Uh, it's close to the 4th of July. I just what the second. I got kids. Everybody around here's got kids. I got neighbors now. So it's just that's just part of the game. But I am running this mic, so that should help cut down on the noise for you guys. Let's get right to it. Pelican 1650. This is a big box, and this will help to illustrate somewhat to you guys exactly just how much shit you can fit in here. So we'll go right to it. I won't bore you with no bullshit details or none of that. So there she is, 1650 by Pelican. And got my 11.5 in there, completely assembled. I just had to compress the buttstock, left the can on and everything. So that works. I just threw this play carrier in there. It's the T-Rex Arms AC1 with level 3A plus soft panels in there. That's just something I've been messing around with, spending a good bit of time with that for the past couple of weeks. Really liking that setup for just a very simple, lightweight, soft armor loadout. Shit's badass. I like it. And I'm not going to do an exhaustive, you know, point by point on everything in here because I've pretty much probably already covered it all. But I also like to be able to rehash some of this shit and make more content for you guys going forward that I think you find interesting. So let's see. So this here is just like my admin pouch. And I got the NC Scout radio manual in there. Um, just a notebook cover with some administrative tools in there, range R card, protractor, map pins, so on and so forth. Just some MRE pizza and Gorilla tape. And got to have some gummy bears. These things are awesome right here. And that's pretty much what I got in there. That's just, like I said, a little admin kit. And then going forward i'll bring you guys closer because maybe y'all can see more of what's going on here all right hopefully that's good so then i got some electronic ears in here just in a padded little case let's see what else do we have i got some spare whip antennas 771 whip antennas for my radios and they're just in pvc pipe holders just to keep them from getting all bent up and stuff. Got the Gerber strong arm in there. This is just a spare notebook right in the rain. Got some extra chem lights in there. This thing right here is pretty cool. This is just an organizer pouch. And I got some extra radio batteries, some antenna options, chargers, all that kind of stuff in here in a small multi-tool. So that's pretty handy. And I picked that thing up for dirt cheap, a few dollars at like Lidl, which is a grocery store around here. If y'all are familiar or not, I don't know. Uh, and here I got my spare radio and a shoulder mic. And then right here, I got the Elecom Nest Out. This is their four panel solar array. And then in here, I got just a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank by Anchor, I think it is, A-N-K-E-R. It's got a small pack cover. And then I got M81 BDUs, just regular shit, just nothing crazy, no cry, no Gucci shit, just, just regular ass clothes. And then over here, got my chest rig. So there's my chest rig. And then, of course, got my helmet, Team Windy Bump, with the Wilcox G24 on there for night vision shenanigans. Got just a bandolier, GI bandolier with preloaded stripper clips of M855 in there just to have some extra ammo available. Got a loading spoon in there as well. Got the Magpul D60. And this is just a little admin pouch that I use for extra batteries, headlamp, 
and just random shit. I got a boo boo kid in there. I got some cat crap in there. Lens defogger or anti fog, red lens light, extra batteries, just general stuff to keep it kind of separated. And then last but not least, I got the AWS assault pack in here, and I've got a I've got a video dedicated to this, I think. And if not, then let me know and I'll make one later. But this this pack is badass. I love it. And typically I will run the helmet in the beaver tail, but I got tired of fighting it in and out of there when I had this all this stuff set up in a duffel bag previously. But decided to put it all in here in the pelican and see how I like that. And so far, uh, the pelican is, is, is fucking badass. I love it. I held off on getting one for a while and picked this one up a couple of weeks ago. It's in very good condition. Got it used. Saved some money doing going that route. And it, it holds all this stuff very, very nicely. So no issues there with the 1650. I'm going to do another review on this chest rig in its current format soon. This is my go-to chest rig. And we will talk about that at another point in time. So stay tuned for that if that interests you. But yeah, the 1650 is is dope. It is a big case though. Once if you load it up heavy, it I mean if you put all your shit in here like what I got, it's gonna be heavy. But it does have wheels and a drag handle or carry handle, and then it's got handles all the way around. It's got like what seven latches or something. And I mean it's Pelican, so they 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 have a good reputation to say the least. And this is how all my stuff will just pack back in there. So wanted to share that with you guys and I won't waste your time because everybody's time is valuable mine and yours so if there's anything you feel like I missed or you'd like to discuss more in depth by all means hit me up in the comments section and we can talk about it look into it further or whatever we need to do to get that sorted out and also, I am going to be running a bit of a sale on palmettodissident.net. I marked the shirts down, I think $25 to try to get those moving. And so if you need some of that stuff or if you need cat tourniquets, Gen 7, or if you need individual aid kits, uh, go over there and check it out and go ahead and make a purchase. And that will definitely help to support the things that I'm doing here. Uh, if you don't want to spend any money and you want to support us then hit the comment section hit the like button hit the subscribe if you haven't already and you like this kind of content do all that stuff uh you can check us out <clears throat> excuse me you can check us out on patreon as well got some different things going on over there a little bit of a different pace than than most of the stuff that we typically do here on youtube but in my opinion it's all good stuff and it's useful information. So we had eight minutes and I'm out of here because I'm rambling. I'll see y'all. I'm out.